Hey, it's Coolio. If you don't know, it is time for the more of the long run where we are playing Luffy and the Fortress of Doom Restored. Last time we um, had a bit of an unpleasant time. And I'm glad that we're done with a lot of it. But uh, we're probably still a little under leveled for where we need to be going, which is to get this girl's uh, fiance. Went to Loire Island to look for Illumina, and he hasn't returned yet. Well, as it turns out, we also need Illumina for our boat. So, um... And we got a, a little bit of a tour of the islands um, in the last session. I have completely forgotten anything about it, so I'm going to have to bring up my world map here to remember which one Loire Island is. It is number 44 on this map, which is um, east by northeast. This. It's parked next to this other boat. Starting off with a miracle. That was good. Now let's hope that things don't absolutely obliterate us this time, but uh, we probably should be a level 35 and uh, our highest level is 33, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's basically what I was expecting to happen. That we would just get immediately flooded. I should probably have had Lufia cast um, boost, but it didn't really matter in the end. Mock ring. That's a pretty big decrease in stats, actually. But, um... Seems pretty obvious that what it does is increase agility. Actually, let's, um... I am uncertain of what you are, sir, and thus I shall destroy you. Well, that's not so bad. It definitely could have been worse, although Lufia did uh, take a bit of a hit while my uh, focus was elsewhere here. Ooh. Yeah, that's not ideal, just wasting a bunch of hits here. So I guess that's your deal. You don't deal a whole lot of damage, except you kind of did for aggro there. But you also don't take a whole lot of damage, and that's kind of uh, worrying. You now you have boost, cast boost. Or maybe you won't need to. Pull your levels up and learns dread if Jaren levels up. And learns nothing, but that's okay. And red. Lowers enemy defense affects one guru. Uh, 
sweet core experience. Hey, there, how are you doing? Oh, right, I forgot to open the chat thing. Thank you for telling me. Someday I'll have that running on the Raspberry Pi so I don't have to worry about it. Should now be working. Thank you. about the blueberry pie? I'm not aware of a blueberry pie. Although, who the hell knows nowadays. Not really sure what to do on this on this turn with Jared, because like, again, three groups of one. Well, that takes care of one of them. Bit of a waste of blast, though. Death arrow. Oh, that's down here, actually. A life source. Um, so the life source will go to Lufia. I'm sure I'm probably going to miss something around here. Who is poisoned? Vampires gain magic resistance, which won't help them against sword. Will help them a little against bang, but not really enough. Oh. Now that could be bad, but I think this is over in one shot. Yeah. Oh. I think it was Agro was like four points away, either Agra or Lufia. I don't know if uh, the order is retained. I think it was Lufia, maybe, I don't know. The important thing is someone's going to level up on the next fight. And detox. Lufia levels up and gains Perish. That's our next floor. So I don't want to go down there yet. Oh, that's also the stairway down. Interesting. A high bomb. A high bomb. Uh, here again. Vortex. Yeah, we're not getting blown out of the water like we were uh, in the last session, so that's good. Oh, there's a door. The box that contains Illumina! So we have two of the seven that we need. Surprise attack on these vampires.
And down we all go. We get a high magic for that. A few boxes over here which contain a revive. And a life source, which I think is going to... Hmm. Interesting. Lufia and Jaren are tied. Well, for lack of a coin to flip, I have a micro SD card. I guess they'll be good enough. Um, label side, it'll be Lufia. Back side, it'll be Jaren. Label side, Lufia. Mostly just destroy these guys. Oh, it did not go down. And in fact, has uh, put Coolio into a coma and Lufia and Jaren, which is really bad. Hmm. We may have a problem here. And Agro's paralyzed. Alright, I think we're dead. I literally cannot do anything. Lufia wakes up. And, um... I probably should have done, uh... some sort of explosion, come to think of it. Provided, of course, that Lufia doesn't fall asleep, which she doesn't this time. Agro is active. Vortex does basically nothing, but one guy was almost dead anyway. Oh my goodness. Lufia gets to kill and blow with our people. Jaren wakes up. And I think we got this. Okay. That was a little scary for, for a minute there. Um, yeah, Jaren. Jaren needs boost. Resources and two red cores. And what are the red cores weak against? Oh, that ain't it. Considering that they just ran away, I'm guessing that they're just kind of the high experience um, payload. Agro levels up. doesn't learn anything, as is tradition. This potion. And a power source. And typically I've been giving power sources to Agro, and that's not going to be an exception. These are power hitters. Now let's use this float just so that we have an extra spot. Oh. Mind source. Mind source will go to Lufia. Wow, that Zorus is still alive. Big damage on Agro. Everyone else, not too much, but a hit on Jaren. Not on Lufia, but uh, that's gonna do it. 666 gold. Excellent. I 
think that's a full loop around, so uh, time to find ourselves a stairway down, and there are two of them. on them. Some pretty good damage, but not quite it. I don't like how that missed everyone. Like, with a name like Pierce, I'm expecting that it is a um, an instant kill. So, good thing that it didn't actually land. Oh boy, it's a where from. Where frog didn't last long. It can fire bald. And Jaren into the double digits. Probably a good idea to heal. Yep. Cast a boost. Uh, those are decent enough. Next potion. Source, a death arrow, and a thousand monies. Uh, the spell source is going to go to Coolio with the lowest MP. A life source, which is probably going to go to Jaren. And she is now again tied with Luvia. Beats everyone out on the flood there for big damage on everyone. Hey, Jay Pop, how you doing? Just got home for a long day. Wait, is the long day at home? I'm confused. After a long day. Presumably you meant from. Got home from a long day for another long day. There's a long days all around. are hard, I understand. That's a foul water, I'm guessing that goes up to the other staircase, it sure does.
For a second I misread that as uh, words have become my snack. Delicious, delicious words. That was a me problem though, not a you problem. Decent hitters, very spongy apparently. And they also cast Stronger. Excellent. Well, it's like they say, J-Pop, great minds think alike. Except, except that that, uh, that genie taught me that great minds think for themselves. Because, you know, Saturday morning cartoons on ABC had to be educational. A, a requirement. I mean, it actually was. I mean, ha have you ever eaten a Lenovo ThinkPad? One of those laptops? Yeah, it's kind of funny how um, uh, Mainframe Entertainment managed to get Reboot on uh, the one Saturday morning lineup. Uh, basically, like, everyone was named after some sort of computer concept. Oh, of course there was a trap there. Why wouldn't there have been? I just got a float item, so I'll just use that. Sweet water. Ah! X magic. I'm trying to stay on the swap so that I can uh, extend this. Uh, this float as long as possible. You have a think pad, but you don't want to eat. But it, it would make the the think go better. That's how it works. It's like a chocolate bar full of silicon. It's an expensive chocolate bar. I mean, you're not wrong. So work laptop, uh, just just expensive. It's fine. They have five hundred thousand of them. So I didn't want to say millions. So that was the other number that I thought of. Oh, are you Brant? Ah, we found Brand. Oh, good. The one, uh, a one on uh, Elba Island, two on Elup, and one on Lore that we've already found. Oh, that kicked me out of the. Really? Can we get an Illumina from you? Excellent. Now we gotta go back in there and get the rest of the stuff. One plus two plus two plus one, that's six and we need seven, so I don't know. But maybe...
Wait, right, now there was one plus two plus one, and then he gave us one, and then we found another one. It's... Also, I'm dying, I should probably, like, address that before I actually die. Holy crap, that was a hit for 97. Okay. Stay on this floor as long as I can. Power source. Which of course will go to Aguero. Because he's got nothing else but brute force. One plus one plus two plus one plus one. Help, I, I need a mathematician. Pronto. High magic and X magic. Oh, what's over here? Oh, okay, it's the other. We're doing pretty good against these Zoruses, anyway. Also, the fact that you said, all right, Mr. Body, I'm guessing that's a Clue reference and I've never seen the, the movie. I really should, but you know, there's a lot of movies that I should watch. That there are a lot of movies that are considered classic that, uh... Actually, maybe if I go down here, because there's a door over there. Also, I don't think I've, uh... Yeah, there are, there are a lot of classics that, uh... If you ask me if I watched them, the answer is nope. I <laughs> never came up. Oh, that's an exit too. There's at least one chest that we haven't opened, so I'm not done yet. Well, if that was an exit, then why didn't Brant take that? did it with the wrench in the ballroom. I did it with the wrench in the ballroom. No further questions. Core. We haven't seen one of those yet. Uh, you're 
you're definitely going to cast Blast. What's Perish, actually? Destroys weak monsters. I don't think there are any of those here. Um... Yeah, these guys have a lot of health. That's basically their big thing. That's a lot of dudes who will do bang. Solid damage across the board. Four, four units killed there. I think it's only that chest left. Like, I don't want to leave it behind in case that ends up being the last of the, um, the dragon eggs. Well, this could be bad. Yeah, Agro is probably dead. No, still alive. Hanging on, barely. I think I have to get Luffy and Jared both to cast um, boost, though. Well, maybe not both, because uh, we only have the one dude left to worry about. Or we could just not worry about it. Booyah levels up. But uh, we're definitely worrying about health now because holy crap. I think this is the, the case where the most economical option is just champion on everyone. One step away. Oh no, it's a vampire. Good thing I'm an umpire. Hey Terry, how you doing? That was a high bomb. That was absolutely not worth it. I think that's everything in this uh, in this cave. So let us get out of here. Um, and we'll just use an escape. We have five of them. I keep getting rid of them, and then the game keeps just piling them on. So let's go back to... What was the port town? Uh, 42. That was Mars. We'll just get ourselves healed up here.
I don't know how to escape Neo. He's everywhere. Keeps flowing around me like water. I don't know how he does that. It's really creepy. Uh, where is the save? Oh. This is probably it. You're the one who rescued Brand. Thank you. Now we can get married. Thanks for saving me, really. You find your Illumina? One on Elba, two on Ula, one on Loire. I heard King Herod has been hoarding Illumina lately. Herod's up the river that's west of town. The only way to get there is my ship. Please. Well, it's a good thing that we talked to him because he also gave us the tip about uh, King Herod. Uh, so, Elba and Ulup. Uh, Elba's due north and Ulup is west by northwest, but I think I have to warp there if I understood correctly. Maybe it's just that there is a warp and I can use it. No, we've been here already. No, we were here, but we, yeah. I only took this chest and then... Like, I, I didn't go very far before backing out. Because it was pretty clear that I was not supposed to be here. Definitely want to take that vampire out, status machine as it is. But holy crap, 138 damage on Luthia. That's not good. Luthia repaying that damage in spades. And gaining a level up. Um, let's go ahead and champion Olivia. I wanted to read that. Let me read the thing. Send that vampire back to the dark shadows. Do it. Do it. That was a very bad dude. Jaren levels up and learns the lizard. Step on four switches in front of the door, then step on the door switch to open it. Choose the wrong order and the alarm will sound. We had discovered that part. Less than ideal damage. Uh oh, that's okay. We're good. Agro took care of the problem. It's gonna be like that is gonna come back and hit Luffy, isn't it? It's, except no, it's not. Uh, do you have any attack magic? Not anything that'll do any damage. I guess just keep hitting. 71 damage on Golio. <sighs> 94 damage on Luffy, ouch. Okay. Yeah, doing good damage, uh, physical damage there. Uh, that was gonna come back and hit Luffy for 59. Oh, really? <laughs> That was that close. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's, uh, I only did the first floor in this area. Uh, let's try this new blizzard attack. Small lumps of ice hits all of enemies. Okay, I don't like these berserkers and their mirrors. And that didn't even do a whole lot of damage anyway. 75 on Coolio. That mirror is still up? You jerk. Where I come from, mirrors last for one attack and then they then they get destroyed. Old man yells at God. I waste that because the menu is super weird as I mentioned last time. Power drug. The staircase up. I feel like I missed a lot of stuff there but uh, maybe we'll come back to it. Box. Hi Bob. Another box. Speed source. Speed source goes, Coolio. Revive. Aha! Here we go. Uh, really? No, that was just rude. These guys were just waiting here for me to drop in. Uh, that, uh, that didn't do a whole lot of damage now, did it? Jared, your magic's not very good. And that didn't do a whole lot more, honestly. A crit for 20 is what takes him down. Agro levels up. Next potion. Um, I think I should probably heal our girl. I hate those row armors. Like, those are the things that are reflecting. Oh, good. The instant, the instant death attack hit. That's fantastic. Love it. And now Agro's dead. Cool. I love that these guys can just do that. Eighty-five. What? No, Jaren, you first. What are you doing? Uh, Luffy is dead of quote-unquote natural causes. And I think this is my cue to get the hell out of here. Actually, we're out of battle, we can just use our lives. Yeah, that was an extremely rude fight.
door won't open if all the switches are already down. Okay. So this could be easy or this could be extremely harrowing. It all depends on who goes first. And what the vampires decide to do. Unfortunately, making it easy for me this time with a coma attack that completely misses. It's in the store. Box, the big arrow. This, I'm gonna guess, is a drop down. No, it's actually in the room with the, the box. And that's all here. somewhere and there might have been a staircase on the other side right maybe I honestly did not notice or if I did I promptly forgot because that's what I do didn't kill anything, but it did do a whole lot of damage. Okay, so Pyrrhus is a sleeping attack, apparently. I'm less worried about that. I saw the name Pyrrhus and I thought, well, that's, that's gotta be instant death, right? No, we already got an enemy that uh, deals instant death. We don't need to. It's locked. focus on the deaths because uh, those obviously can kill, but then again so can the uh, Berserker. Evidently, considering that Agro is down to 29 health. And we'll take another hit, thus actually dying. Staircase over here. Yes, there was. Okay. Well, that leads to another staircase over there. But uh, I'm willing to bet that there is probably some more treasure the other way. Y'all know. I will go for the box if I know that it's there. That's a pretty quick uh, next attack here. Sure, let's give that another try. It's the big reason that Bang is so effective is just, like, the bomb ring that Lufia has. 
Youch! 157 damage on Jared. Let's try to avoid that happening again. And let's just immediately cast Champion on Jaren. Managed to avoid falling asleep twice, but Coolio is now the only character that's not sleeping. Also, just took a hit for 111. Let's take care of the Steel Steel Lord because, like, it's definitely like the biggest threat right now. Now with that out of the way, we should be able to just wreck the rest of these guys. There we go. Cool. Wait, what just happened? I tried to cast... Did I cast friggin' Champion on someone that I didn't mean to again? Uh, this menu system's not great. get rid of the vampire and then everyone's going to um, just do physical attacks just to avoid any mirrors Magic Mirror ain't gonna help. Anyway, up we go. Yeah, it's locked, but like, how do I tell my party members to stand on the things? Well, we gotta stand on the four buttons, and then we also gotta stand on the button in front of the thing. Unfortunately, Aguro still had Aguro and died. Aguro. I don't know what you want from me here, because, like, I'm pressing all of the buttons and, like, nothing is happening. There's not an alarm, the door is not opening, nothing. So, like, I'm missing something.
I need to go with a blast for this, actually. Because, uh, these, uh... These night guys are, uh, massive pain. By which I mean, they inflict massive pain upon my party. Thankfully that pierce does nothing. And the blast kills everyone. All of the enemies, anyway. Does anyone have any insight on what to do here? Because, like... I am definitely missing some operative thing about what about how this works. Don't remember at all. A dreadful attack this is. You know what else is dreadful? The fact that that's not gonna do anything. You know the name of the tower we're in. This is um... I think this is uh, Asen Island, Pirate's Tower. Come to think of it, I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe I'm just here early. Well, we're supposed to do Elba, Loire, and Olop, but not Asen. So maybe I should have looked that up in the first place. Well, now we know, and uh, hey. What do you mean I can't use escape here? Can I use an escape item? Here. Interesting. Okay. Guess I just gotta get out then. Jaren has lost some defense, and I'm not a fan of that. And Luffy yeah, manages to uh, get the killing blow on that last skull, so we won't need to worry about uh, falling asleep. Luffy takes a hit for 98. And another one for 85. Um, this is not good tidings for Lufia. Um, gonna have her just use a high potion, I think. But I think that's gonna heal for more than... Yeah, it's a little more than stronger. Not much. Let's continue getting out of here. Uh, which one is... Okay, that's a group of ones. comes Pierce to do put Jaren to sleep, but she's already acted, so it's not so bad. Agamemnon falls asleep, Lufia falls asleep, and this is suddenly a problem. 
Unfortunately, death is dead. And death was the, uh, the biggest issue in this. The skulls, although intimidating, don't do a whole lot of damage. They really just do the sleep thing. to hope that I can just get out of here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so now, Jaren, take us to Mars. Because we need to heal up again. Okay, so let's try this again, and this time go to the correct location, which is this one. And this is uh, Elba Island, and there should be a warp to Ulip Island, which maybe this is it. You figure this is going to be like one of those dungeons that you just have to kind of keep swapping between locations. This is going to be like super annoying. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. A smoke ball. Try to blow through and see what happens. I seem to recall Beak doing a whole lot more damage than Seven. A high guard ring. Oh, well, high guard. take away a little bit of attack and intelligence. Big boost to defense and a decent boost to magic resist. And I'll hold on to that for the time being. Oh good, I saw a lever there. I'm sure that's going to be a fun time. Scratch twice. The once was enough. Come, 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 come. You think protect will protect you? Well, think again. You just got hit in the face by a girl. First doll. I think I might want to go after that first. Just a thought. The cursed doll decided not to curse me this day. So I'm just gonna crit it before it does anything. Holy crap, two crits in a row.
And Lufiel is up in your uh, Gurns? Tried to say gains and earns at the same time, or gains and learns. Uh, so spell source is going to go to Jaren. Miracle and next magic. That door is closed. That's probably what that lever is for, actually. Mud gold. Pretty heavy hitter. Uh, the curse dolls aren't too strong. Because they probably inflict some pretty nasty status effects if, if they stay on the field long enough. The mud golems are pretty heavy hitters, but we have to watch out for that too. Alright, well. Ooh, three mud golems, huh? Uh, Vortex wouldn't be any good, or Blizzard. Vortex is okay. It's not, uh, not anything to write home about, actually. Blizzard is complete garbage. Or sp uh, spook. Almost said a, a saber spook. Listen, what, what was I saying earlier? Words are hard. You're, you're experiencing that in action right now. Also, Luffy are taking lots of damage. Intelligence that goes to Lufia by default. You will stay, of course. Not like you'll have a fucking choice. Silver Rod. That's going to be an upgrade for. It's technically an upgrade for Jared, but again, that's probably only going to hit the one uh, attack. Or the one unit. I kind of want to keep Arteta's bow for as long as it is feasibly possible to do so until we get another bow. Super effective versus vampire? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Here's Luffy's time to shine. One, two, three, four. Cleans the board. Silver. Um, 
we already have silver. Great. Sure, let's move the switch. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Spell source. And that will go to whoever has the least MP, and that's Jaren. This is probably Ulub Cave. Between these two caves, we should be able to find three Illumina. There doesn't seem to be much of anything that we can do here, actually. There will be once we've uh, hit that lever, but uh, that's kind of the thing. We need to do that first. Oh, 75 and 79 on Lufia. having a grudge against the menu. And for once it's not a dinner menu. Not doing a whole lot of damage. <laughs> a crit for 23. That's kind of sad. Also, I just noticed Cool Yellow level 36 now, but um, according to what I've seen at the very least, the old cave is done. There's Nothing past level 30. And friggin' thing went away. Down goes the vampire and one of the mud golems. And he gets a hit on Lufia and they exchange blows. And in the end, we have triumph over mud golem. This is the end. Really got to question this guy's audacity to put an in here. And charge money. Like, how many people have been in this cave? I heard a ding. Ah, we have J Pop who is currently deafened. Uh, he'll be with us in a minute. Hello, Coolio. Hello, everyone. I didn't have sound settings messed up. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a Dorcas. How you doing? 
I am doing pretty good. Excellent. Ready, ready to, to see me get destroyed by this curse, apparently? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... The last time I saw you, and apparently I don't think you died, was a bunch of, uh... What was it, like, Wrath Armors or something like that after you? Uh, Rome Armor, I think, is the one that, uh, you might be thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah, I think you were getting thrashed and I had to step away and... Yeah, that, I think that might be the fight that I actually used the smoke bomb on. Oh, okay. I'm all caught up then. Okay. So here we are trying to get some Illumina. We need Illumina seven of them. Aluminum and them and them foil. And there is an Illumina right there. Aluminum. I'm sorry, it's not my stream. <laughs> I'll try to learn English. <laughs> I'll try to learn English for you. <laughs> I mean, you, now, did a pr you did a pretty decent job at French last night. <laughs> Thank you. Until yeah, I stopped so purposely I trying. <laughs> I more like purposely stopped trying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, because, um, you know, I get off of work, and I kind of see the stream, kind of listen to you, you know, get home, and so I, I, I play catch-up with a lot of your streams. Yeah. Do you feel that a lot of the Ks feel the same? Oh, very much so. Okay, so it's not just me. I'm like, I thought we were here. No. I thought no. we were here. No. Now, we... funny, at the very beginning of this stream, you were in a castle that, uh, or a tower that you were in before. <laughs> I was in, yes, briefly. And, that, and, uh, realized very quickly that I wasn't supposed to be there. And then then realized that I still wasn't supposed to be there. The, those are the kind of towers where, if you can, but this game does make it hard, uh, where you basically use your high-powered nuke magic, do it like three times, get a level, and then go rest at the inn. I mean, that's not a bad idea, yeah, especially considering that, uh, I was apparently pretty under level for a while. I think I'm kind of where I'm supposed to be at this point, so it shouldn't be as bad as it was last week. I I think it was Zero that taught me. Um, and then I saw it like, after he taught me, I saw it like in four other places, but like in Final Fantasy VII, like, you find your... Is it the, your first visit to Junin Harbor? And you activate the alarm? So that you fight, like, way advanced monsters there? And basically nuke and level up whatever you want? And then, you know, do that for 20-30 minutes? And then basically you're level set for the rest of the game. Hmm. That's definitely not a bad idea. High power rate, actually. Uh, that's magic. Is it, is it going to go to Agro? Oh, it's magic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got, uh, got some... Uh... Actually, maybe I can see what Agro gets out of this. 442, wow. Uh, loses the benefits of the purple ring, but uh, that is a lot of attack power. Hmm. I mean, he doesn't exactly need intelligence now, does he? <laughs> I see. We. Uh, I see you have a opinion about him. I mean, it's not much of an opinion when, like, it's factual that he does not have magic and therefore the intelligence doesn't need to be high. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was trying to think of a clever, clever way to use the word aptitude, uh, ap, 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 aptitude, but, uh, but it obviously would endanger my intelligence. So I didn't say anything, and then I ruined it by trying to explain why I did it. <laughs> Hi, Good my job. name is Agudo here. Welcome to Coolio Stream. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Lever. Open door. Open door. There is our last the dragon, dragon egg. We have all of them. We have all the dragon balls! What are we gonna wish for? Um... Bulma's... No, we should probably not do that. The original wish! <laughs> I mean... Have you watched Dragon Ball 1? I have not watched the original Dragon Ball. Okay. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that I haven't watched, so like... I watched the original Dragon Ball. I don't even know what channel it was on. And I don't even know what time it was on. But it was like... Like five five thirty in the morning, uh, wow. type of on and and I I watched the it was it was it was still a time when anime was not around. Yeah, fair. I think at some point YTV had Dragon Ball. I just didn't really get into it. I can see why you prefer Tyrion, the OG Dragon Ball, over Z. Um, and really, the OG one was... I mean, the formula wasn't set yet, right? And so they were still doing what they wanted to do. And it's kind of le less serialized and just a bunch of detached stories, I'm, I'm imagining. Not detached, because it was... Okay, yeah, there was detached stories, but it wasn't about the Dragon Balls, really. It, um... You know... They were, quote-unquote, defeating evil, but, like, kind of by accident, Goku would just fall into things. But then also, then you would have the tournaments, right? And the tournaments were fun and exciting, and... and Ever since Z and onward, whenever they've done tournaments, it's just been flat out ridiculous. And Tyrion is right, the whole power creep just it's it's the show, but it's 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 now far ruined the excitement of the show because you know, that's I mean, yeah, they stopped doing Super Saiyan levels. One, two, and three, and four. And now they just went like God mode, instinct, God instinct, ultra, ultra instinct, you know, oh, and <laughs> it's coming up with all of the uh, the epic titles I see. Yeah. And anytime they ever revisited the tournaments, it just it it. It obviously would not be competitive to the power creep of even the grandchildren. Like, they're just... They're going to win, you know? And... Like, the funniest thing you can get is that Android 18 would be like, Hey, I'm gonna throw this fight. You're gonna pay me $5,000. Oh! It's like, alright! <laughs> and of course, there's always Hercule slash Mr. Satan. Just throwing his hat in the ring and getting completely annihilated and still being a famous son bitch. He's like a politician. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm ca uh, that's a Kappa statement. I want it to be though. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, by the end of the first arc, every villain. Eh, that's not fair to Hercule. <laughs> 
yeah, uh, everybody in Z could blow up the planet, and heck, like, it all became... Some of them did. Uh, they tried. It was, you know what? Fuck this, fuck this fight. This planet, I'm gonna blow up this planet. And then, whichever fighter, Goku or would, or would hop in front, and it would be the Kamehameha blast of their life, right? And... I mean, at, at the very least, Frieza succeeded. Frieza I'm still sorry. died, but Frieza succeeded. I thought he blew up Namek. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. It wasn't the Earth, but Namek. I mean, Vegeta blew up the Bug Planet. Yeah, I think, like, the most that I really watched the show is, like, um, when I was watching on YTV, like, they only had the rights for, um, like, broadcast rights for the Raditz and Frieza arcs. So, like, the Frieza arc ended, and then it went back to the start, I'm like, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Like, I'm pretty sure this went backward, and I was not particularly happy with that. That happened with a lot of anime, which made it also very, uh... Cool and yet jarring for the time. Like, uh... Because anime, unlike other cartoons, it was progressive, right? But... Yeah, Toonami was also- they'd hit the end of their episode list, and then restart, and it would take forever for the next set of English dubbing, you know, to come out. And... And sometimes it just wouldn't happen. Like, I think the last arc of Sailor Moon just didn't get released by Ocean at all. Or if it did, I never heard of it. Yeah, a lot of times it, it wouldn't get released, and if it did, it would take years long after and the thing is though sometimes uh i mean heck sometimes the next season of an anime takes years to come out you know there are actually a couple of animes i started watching during covid they're having their second season now so it's it, it it really can't take a long time for it to come out, and then even longer for an English translation or dubbing or something to appear. So it was incredibly common that it would hit the end and restart. Yep. Unexpectedly. And, and or then expect you... or expectedly, but heartbreakingly. And then and then you hear several years later of all of these plot points that they decided to cut out because they were they were too hot for North American TV. You mean Intenshi Wuyo, the bathtub scene, they weren't all wearing bikinis that look oddly off-colored from the rest of the animation? No! <laughs> Uh, we found another Illumina, but like I don't know. Oh, Jed, that's that's a big party. I don't know what the next move here is. Like, bang um... everything. Yeah, some anime just stops it. There are some animes that you wish would get a second season, and it just dozens and it's like no but but there should be more and there isn't or nowadays you could tell it when an anime like uh, it it basically gets told that this is it like they're gonna finish this season and so they end up rushing you know the plot the story the whatever like it, and it just it runs to the end you know? Yeah. There was this one, uh, anime that I loved the concept of. And it was called, uh, See the Money of Possibility or something. It had a... 
really, you know, I mean, at anime concept, you would go to another world where time stopped in the real world, and you would have these deals, and you would, you have a monster, and you fight, and a, cer and a certain tie to economics. And, like, if you win, you got a whole bunch of money in your bank account, right? But if you lost, you lost a lot of money. But what you put up for your collateral is your future. Oh boy. You know, so if you lose, if you go bankrupt, your collateral is your future. Um, and, and they do a lot of weird things for it. And like, they set up the main character, a girl that he likes, that he wants to impress, other people that he meets, you know, that he learns are part of this in the real world, and then other people he meets in the the alternate world and I love the concepts of everything but then it felt like they didn't really delve into the mechanics of the fights nor did they really pursue the love interests like I thought they were going to try to set up you know and they just raced towards the end to defeat the antagonist and his reasons for things um and cause they also cause the whole environment had a plague on the actual economy of of the world and so certain the world aspect was great but then all the small fine details just they they thought you they would go deeper and then it just like yeah you're not gonna find out about that and then the show ends and that's it you know and, and it's a sad fate for so a lot of sometimes animes. and sometimes the only answer is read the uh, the manga which a lot of a lot of anime seems to be based on manga that have gone for a lot longer than the anime did. Yeah, and a lot of people turn turn towards manga to find out more, find out further ahead, find out you know better what happened, and explain some of the things. It's the same thing with series and books, you know, and. a lot of great series sometimes also and I think anime quote unquote bitches out that they don't try to end a show uh, because it's really hard to write an ending and the only reason I say that is because there are a lot of movies series things of uh, that have gone on for so long and we wait for the ending, and we get there, and a lot of times we're like, meh. Like, okay, it ended, like, that was expected, you know? And the ending may happen, and it makes us feel complete, but the beginning's the fun part. The newness of it, the, yeah. the growing, the interactions with it are all fun, and a lot of what anime does is they just run through the fun part over and over again, and then not continue it. That's what it really seems to do, because it doesn't know how to go afterwards. Well, at least it's not like Marvel, who doesn't know when to friggin' stop. To me, that's just Hollywood. They have no good ideas, and all they've finally done have- They pulled from the greatest American manga they could find, and as long as they keep yeah, processing it the way they have, they will continue to print money. And stop caring after Endgame. Yeah, that's probably the thing I stopped caring before Endgame. I stopped caring before Endgame. And I should watch Endgame. I know what happens. It's not that I couldn't, but... I didn't even watch Endgame. And I... Love the Infinity Stones. I love the Infinity Stones, but it's due to a video game reason why I love them. You know? And... I didn't see all the movies with every Infinity Stone that led up to it. I respect that they did do that to build it and get it ready Avengers 1 did I watch Winter Soldier and the timeline of everything I don't know what the timeline of it of, of anything 
Yeah, the... I mean, at least there is a definitive timeline and it's not like The Legend of Zelda, where they tried to cobble one together after the fact. Hey, you might never know, that might be a Nerd Rage episode. It won't. <laughs> what, what a surprise that James Rolfe would not cover any of the Zelda games. I mean, maybe he would cover Zelda 2, but I don't think he is. But good games are his shtick. It's the bad ones. And so some people did consider um, Zelda 2 to be a bad game, but no, it's it's really not. It's very different, but it's fine. Zelda 2 is my Zelda game. You know why? Because me and Zero were at my cousin's house, and he was showing us Zelda. Oh man, that's a really cool game. And when it came time for Christmas, I put it down. And then when I opened it up, it was Zelda 2, and it wasn't the Zelda 1 that we played. But, it was the Zelda we had, so we played it. Because <laughs> that's what you did when you were younger. Yeah, I like the game. It, it's not one, but... I like it. That's true. Fans care about the lore. I don't think Nintendo actually does. And they... When there were enough games, they kind of started to make some modicum of effort in... You know. They at least try to have a story, but they've also, like, shoehorned the reset button to the Hero of Time. So, it's a bunch of different timelines, or time phases, and replay the same story, you know? Yeah, or it's like, key points of the same story. So, what, what was it? Like, Link beats Ganon in the past, Link beats Ganon in the future, or Ganon beats Link? Something like that. There's some weird thing, anyway. And then that's split into three, and then, uh... Breath of the Wild just, you know what, screw all this, we're, we're gonna make this game 10,000 years in the future, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. Also, Wait, if, it's, if it's not, if it's not obvious, I have no idea where I'm going right now, I'm just totally lost. I know that there are two treasure chests, and I'm hoping you find them. Uh, probably bring up a map at this point, because, like, I have no idea. Oh, uh, I forgot. That's that's what I signed up for. What cave are we in? <laughs> uh, we're in Ulup and Elba. Bless you. <laughs> Looking at the map now, actually. From the looks of it, 11 is just J. UPP and Elba, the LBA, that they're they're connected to each other, so yeah. So you want to get uh, it looks like So from the looks of it, I want to be... I'm gonna just use a sweet water maybe. Try to concentrate on what, uh, on what we're doing rather than fighting enemies. 
I don't think that this still is gonna the right do. map. What's that? I'm like looking at this. It doesn't feel like the right map. Uh, so right now we're in Ulo. Oh, what the... If you can find a number 9 on that map, I'm, oh, the way un this... I'm under number 9 right now, and I need to be at number 9. Okay, I see how this website works. Oh, okay, so I was... Oh, on... maybe, you're, maybe you're looking at a different map. It might no, be. Are, are you on VG Maps or something? I'm on Neo Seeker. Uh... Well, Neo Seeker should have the same stuff as uh, Game Facts, I think. It 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 had a. I have to, it, it. You may click the link for the map, but it opens up to by alphabetical order A. So I had to scroll through. Um. That. There, there's a few websites that uh, you can go for. You can go to for maps. And start with a grand plan. They then they corner themselves and so fuck the timeline. You don't care. Yeah, that's that's fair. You're climbing up that large ladder, huh? Yep. Yeah. And, and then you're uh, gonna take the door on the left. Well, you go through a door, then you go take something on the left. I don't remember... Okay, yeah, there's a door. Door. Oh, but then there's... Okay, I... It says 8, 9, but like... Can you push the one on the left? Push the one Oh, no! Yeah. Unless... I think there was... wasn't there a lever somewhere? You did pull a switch. So... Th there was a lever that specifically said, like, uh, this one is up, you want to switch it down. And that's probably what I need to do. And I've just been... hovering around like an idiot trying to figure this out. Um... I would go through that teleporter right now. And that's going to take me to nine. That takes I've, you to nine. I've already I've already done everything that I can do down here. I need to go through eight. And uh But that's in the same spot, so okay, hold on. Uh, I have a switch and elbow near item X and Y. Okay, so it's just down the uh down the ladder. Down the ladder through that door. To the room. It's down now. Do you want to move it up? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. This place is a mess. At the very least, we gained a bunch of experience. Fans mm. wanted them connected, they wanted a timeline, yeah. It, it does seem like something they would have done more for the fans than for anything else, and then they at least tried to keep it to some consistency from there, and I finally found out where it is that I'm supposed to go. We're making progress, everyone. Huzzah! We did it! There is some more Lumina. The sweet water ran out, let's use some more. It's a miracle. It's a miracle! A silver Targe. I don't think that's an upgrade. No, it is not. Uh, how much Illumina do we have? We should have six, I think. We have six. We have six. Which means we can get the hell out of here. And 
now let's go back to... Mars. I'm glad you were here anyway, because that would have been real dull if it was just me running around in circles and not really being able to figure out what it is that I'm trying to do. <laughs> and finally realize, oh yeah, there was a friggin' lever. Anyway, this guy told us that there is one more Lumina that King Herod has. And Herod is, uh, I just skipped through it. And the, uh, up the river that's west of town, the only way to get there is by ship. So we have all the Illumina that we, that we can get from the islands. Our next stop is Herod, and we will be going there after the break. So y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall reconvene and go to Herod and see if we can get that last bit of Illumina that we need. So, I'll see you in a bit.